We passed the law, it was from referenced already, to close the donut hole. A significant portion closed already, but it'll be totally closed when this law comes fully into effect in 2014. Saving the average, the average senior with high drug costs, $600 just this last year alone, and that will increase. They want to repeal it. They simply say they want to repeal it. We passed the law that provides for preventative services. Debbie talked about I can remember sitting there, and thank God my mother had at least one, two financially successful children, not me. <laughs> but when my mom lived with me, my mom, we'd go up and get my mom's prescriptions. And we had to literally lie to mom and tell her, no, all her savings covered everything. Because to my mom, my mom, she did not want her children having to make sacrifices. But we all chipped in, about six grand a month, all told, among us. For not only that, but to the very end where my mom needed some care. My mom, my mom needed somebody there just to help her with her lunch when she wasn't, as it got toward the end. But my mom, it was all about her pride. Joey, show me my checkbook. Show me my checkbook. And my brother would quickly run and deposit more money in my mom's checkbook. <laughs> because, because she had dignity that she wanted to preserve. This is about what these guys don't get. It's more than whether or not my mother and father got the care they needed. It was how they got the care they needed.